Hello everyone and welcome back to another Digital Den mini class. Today we are going to be going over computer basics and actually throughout the rest of this series, uh, this is going to be the most basic entry level Digital Den mini class that we have had. We're going to be going over throughout this series uh, everything from computer mice to keyboards uh, and getting on the internet, emails, internet safety, things like that. Today is the first part of this series where we are going to be going over the computer mouse. Now, I'm going to be taking this course or, or uh, uh, giving you this course as if you've never used a computer mouse before. Um, and so I will not be uh, just assuming that you know uh, some things that you may not know. Uh, so we have quite a few patrons here at the library who have uh, asked for this sort of thing. So um, uh, let's go ahead and dive right into part one of this series, uh, how to use the computer mouse. So as you can see here, I've got two different uh, computer mice. Um, this one is just a pretty standard mouse with insignia with just the the standard uh, left click right click and a middle mouse wheel uh, And this mouse is uh, very similar. It's made by Dell uh, the same uh, left left right and uh, middle uh, uh, Buttons there, but there's also some buttons on the side here, which I will tell you about here in a little bit Okay so let's start off with the uh, left click button. That is this button here on the side. This is your action button. Uh, this is the button that you will use to be able to accomplish something on the screen of your computer, um, referred to as clicking. Anytime that anything or anyone tells you to click on something, they're always telling you to use this left click button. Here in the middle, we have got a little wheel that, uh, that kind of rubs up and down. Um, and this will allow for you to be able to navigate uh, on the screen by scrolling up and down. Uh, so if you're on a page that has, or like if you have like the internet open or a Word document open or, um, well, if you have any sort of program open on the computer that has uh, enough space that goes beyond the, um, uh, the, the screen size, you can scroll through to be able to see more of, of what is available. Okay, and we'll go into that a little bit further, uh, a little bit later in this video, okay? Uh, and then of course we have our right click button here. The right click button is the more options button. Whenever you right click on something, it will give you more options of different things and different actions that you can take, you can't normally take by just doing the left click, uh, which we will dive into a little bit further to further explain that uh, here shortly. The last piece of the uh, of the mouse is the underside here. Uh, there is a little sensor uh, that is in here that will glow red when this is plugged in, but as you can see, it's not. Um, and this is what you will use, basically rubbing it on the table to be able to move your mouse around. Well, rubbing it on any sort of flat surface will move this uh, around the uh, around the screen. Uh, this is what navigates your cursor, which we will talk about, um, uh, and and allows for you to be able to move around. Okay, so that's this first mouse on uh, this second mouse and I, I highly recommend that if you're going to be starting uh, with a, a mouse and you haven't used one before, you use a basic one like this with just these three buttons on top uh, because um, uh, the more buttons that you have, the more complicated it gets and uh, when there's a lot of buttons on the side, it can um, you can do actions that you may not be doing on purpose uh, and you may not be prepared for. So I highly recommend a really basic one like this. Um, uh, but the, this is a, also a pretty standard mouse. There is a button on the left and a button on the right uh, as well on the sides of the mouse. Uh, these are your back and forward uh, buttons. So if... Um, Say, for example, you are on the internet uh, and you have clicked on something to go to a variety of different pages, you can cycle through them uh, using these buttons on the left and right sides um, to be able to go back a page or forward a page, etc. Okay? Now, as you can see here, these have plugs uh, in them, uh, and so these are wired connections. Uh, so what, all we have to do to be able to get these mouses to function is to plug these into a USB port which is located on any laptop or, uh, or computer 
plug it in and it should be able to, you'll be able to see it, it light up on the bottom side here so you'll know that it is working. Sometimes mice have button or have lights on the top as well to indicate that it is being powered on. Um, I prefer a wired connection over a wireless one, but wireless connections work great. Um, so if the mouse that you're using uh, is wireless, um, you just have to remember that uh, if the mouse is not functioning properly, um, there are a, a wider variety of reasons why that could be the case. Uh, it could be um, that your um, the, the receiver is not plugged in uh, to the computer. It could be that the battery is dead, uh, or it could just be that the battery is getting low uh, and it needs to be changed soon. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to changing batteries and stuff, so I just prefer the wired connection so that I plug it in once and then that's pretty much it. All right, let's dive a little bit further in uh, and I will show you what it will look like on the screen uh, to be able to navigate using a mouse, okay? All right, so here we are on my computer screen here. Before we dive too far into this, I did want to mention one more thing about wireless mice. I just personally prefer a wireless or a, uh, a wired mouse myself. Uh, battery powered wireless mice tend to last like a year plus, um, you know, before having to change the battery. So I don't want you to think that wireless mice are bad. Um, I just prefer the wired connection myself and that's just a matter of preference. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this um, here on my wired mouse. You can see that I have it powered on uh, because the light is on here and to have it powered on, all I had to do is plug it into my computer. So we, uh, we've got this plugged in and the cursor at the center of the screen here, which is that little up arrow, the, the little white up arrow there. Um, as you can see, I can navigate the screen uh, by moving the mouse. I can move it left and it'll move left. I can move it right and it'll move right. I can move it up to move up and I can move down to move down. We can move all over the place here. A couple of different things that I wanted to mention about the cursor is that it does not always look like a, uh, a little up arrow like this, depending on what we hover over. Now hovering meaning we are like landing, like, like stopping moving on top of something. Um, if I hover over uh, uh, certain things on the computer screen, it will change shape. So in the bottom left-hand corner, it says type here to start. Watch what happens to the cursor when I move over that. As soon as I move over that, it changes into this other symbol. And this is the symbol that means that I can type here. So if I click on this using the left click button, I can then start to uh, type whatever it is that I want in this uh, here to be able to further my computer experience, okay? Um, the other thing that your cursor will change to is if I click on this folder down here, you will see that um, there are like on this left hand side here, um, it, it has changed to uh, a little hand uh, here. Um, my cursor is currently over by where it says quick access in the top left here. And if I click on any of these, it will open up different folders and things like that. Um, and the hand just it, it just essentially means that this is a thing that you can click on and it will further what you're trying to do on the computer. Now, it doesn't always change uh, to indicate when something is something that you can click on. Like, for example, I can click on this Google Chrome right here uh, and it doesn't change to to the hand. Um, it just it only does it sometimes. But if you rec if you see that it changes to the uh, to, to the hand, that means that you can click on it. OK. All right. So that's it for movement. Now let's talk about uh, the left click button here. Um, now, the way that I hold my computer mouse is I have my pointer finger on the left side and the uh, my middle finger on the right side. Uh, that is what works for me. Uh, and that's kind of the general way that you will hold the mouse. Um, and then I, uh, anytime that I want to use the mouse wheel in the middle, I just move my, uh, my middle finger over and I scroll with that. Uh, but of course, whatever works best for you is the way that you should do it. Um, if you are left-handed, I still recommend using your right hand to use the mouse um, because that is the way that it was designed to be used. I myself am left-handed, but it is awkward to uh, use the left hand and still do things because the nice thing is that like when you are comfortable using your computer and you have the mouse in your right hand you can still type using your left hand and it is like 
a lot a lot easier on the left side than it is on the right side. You'll understand once you start to get a little bit more used to it, but I highly recommend that you use your right hand for, for the mouse, okay? All right, so diving into the left click options here, there are three different things that you can do with the left click. Uh, you can just click once, uh, and that is like your selection sort of tool, basically. Um, if I click once on Firefox, uh, or on um, Zoom or on any of these other things, you'll see that it gets highlighted on there, okay? Um, uh, it means it is selected, but it hasn't done anything to actually open the program, right? Uh, but if I double click on, um, on it, then you will see that it actually opens it. And what a double click is, is you rapidly click twice. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, for example, um, if you double click on the video, it will maximize the screen. And then if you double click again, it will shrink it back to its normal size. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, it does not work uh, that way. Um, uh, so uh, you're welcome to try that. But if you click the video once, uh, it will pause the video. Um, and so you have to click it again to be able to get it to um, uh, play again, okay? All right, so um, double clicking is, is a rapid click. And this is something that I've noticed that for beginners with the, with the mouse, uh, this is something that can be a little bit difficult to be able to grasp right away. Um, so you're, want, you're going to want to click as quickly as possible and you're gonna wanna hold the mouse down uh, while you're doing it and not like hold, like press a, a finger like on it, right? Um, it's hard, hard to describe, uh, I guess, without you actually uh, uh, doing it. But if you have a friend who is showing you this video that is trying to uh, help you grasp the computer uh, basics, um, uh, maybe they can help you through it. But uh, you're going to want your hand to be comfortably rested on the mouse and click left twice as fast as you can. And that is how a left click, uh, a, a double click works. Okay, now the last thing that you can do with your, um, your left click is to click and drag. Now there are a number of reasons why you would want to do this, but just here on the home screen, watch as I click and I hold down that left click and then I drag it somewhere else on the screen. You'll see that this big box is being uh, being created here. Now, whenever I let go, that box disappears. Okay, but if I click, hold down my click and then drag over all of these different programs on the left-hand side of my screen and I let go, the box disappears, but everything that I selected is still selected on here. Now, what I can do now is I can click and drag everything that I've selected and I can move it around the screen. This is a way for you to be able to select multiple things at a time to be able to save yourself some time uh, in the future. Okay, so that is the click and drag function and it will work um, uh, in like word processing um, uh, things. Uh, and so if you uh, are, are typing something and you click and drag on, uh, on that word processing program, um, it will uh, select a, a, like all, like, as much of the text as you would like. And I will dive further into that uh, in our keyboard video, which is the next part of this series. So that is everything for the left click. Uh, let us explore the right click. So whenever we click on right click, you will see that some new options are going to appear on different things that we can use the left click for. As I mentioned, the left click is your action button. And so if I want to go to the personalized settings on here, I would right click on the screen, click on personalize with my left click, and it would pull up uh, the personalize options on the computer screen. Um, now you may not ever have to go to that setting, but that's just an example of things that you can do. I can right click on uh, Google Chrome, for example, here, and it'll show me some different options here. A lot of these are going to be a little bit on the complicated side, um, but generally, whenever you right click on something, you will see the cut, copy, Create shortcut, delete, rename, and properties. These ones here at the bottom are going to be the ones that you see very often, and open uh, will generally appear at the top. I can hit rename on here, and it'll um, highlight all of the text in this, and I can just type in whatever else I want 
um, and it will change the name of it. As you can see, I need administrator permissions to be able to rename this. Um, so uh, if you are not an administrator on your computer, you may not be able to do it. That's what I get for using my staff computer to do this video. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Uh, so those are some uh, a couple of options of things that you can do with the right click button. It just gives you more options. And so if I click on this folder down here um, and I want to look through all of my documents, I can uh, right click on a variety of folders and you'll see um, some different options that will pop up there. OK, and now let's take a look at the middle click button. So if I click on a, uh, a program down here at the bottom, uh, these are programs that are on my taskbar. This is what the taskbar is called here. Um, and uh, if you click on something that is on the taskbar, you only have to click it once to open it. But if it is on your homepage, you have to double click to be able to open that. Okay. All righty. So um, the mouse wheel, as I mentioned, will allow for us to be able to um, uh, scroll. Okay. So what I can do is I can scroll on the mouse wheel here on the left hand side and I can scroll through the different folder options on my quick access to be able to see more of what's there. If I click into a folder and there is a bunch of stuff there, I can scroll through and I can take a look at all of what is available inside this folder. Okay. I wanted to jump in real quick here and clarify kind of what I meant with the with the mouse wheel here scrolling on this. There will always be a bar on the right hand side uh, that will indicate when you can scroll on something. So, for example, here, this is the form that my assistant and I use for our uh, 3D prints uh, here on the right hand side, you can see that there is a scroll bar. Now I can left click on this scroll bar and I can scroll down. Um, but I can also just use the mouse wheel to be able to scroll through uh, everything um, on that that is or would be on this on this page. Okay, all right, jumping back to the regular video. The last thing that you can do with the middle click is if I have an internet browser open, we'll say, um, and I will pull up my um, my a new tab on the internet here. Okay. Um, one thing that I can do is I can middle click on something. If I press down on the mouse wheel, that will open up a new window uh, on this computer, a new tab. It's called tabs on these uh, on, on your internet browser, which we'll dive into in a later part of this series. Um, but if I middle click on any button that I can click on and it would take me normally to a new page, that will open it as a new tab. So I can have the current tab that I have open and then I can click left click and I can go to this new tab. OK, so that is uh, the computer basics as far as uh, how to be able to use your mouse is concerned. Um, I will be continuing to use the mouse uh, in further uh, parts of this series. The next part is the keyboard. Uh, uh, a portion of this where we will be talking about all sorts of word processing and typing and things like that. Uh, and we will be using the mouse in that as well. If you would like some more experience using the mouse, if you have a friend with you who can uh, who can guide you to this website, there's a website called uh, learnfree.org. It is by Goodwill. Uh, and they have all sorts of technology classes on there uh, to be able to help you. And they have a great uh, a mouse class on there that will help you uh, uh, try out some different things. But honestly, you can, you can do a lot of practice just from the home screen like I demonstrated here in this video. So if you are trying to practice uh, with the mouse, you're going to want to practice your double click because that is uh, something that is usually uh, a little bit more difficult for beginners. Uh, so double click on anything that is on the home page here. Like I can double click on the recycling bin. I can uh, double click on Google Chrome. I can double click on any one of these programs. Uh, and if it opens, that means you were successful. If I didn't double click fast enough, basically what would happen is I would click once and then I would click it again um, uh, and nothing would happen. It would just stay selected, okay? So practice that double click Practice clicking, holding down, and dragging, uh, and practice the right-click button as well, uh, and um, just kind of generally on, on the homepage or uh, the, the desktop there, okay? Um, and that is going to be it for this first part of our series. We will see you 
uh, in the next Computer Basics video. Thanks for watching. Bye.